you talking to? That's good. All right. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? That's good. How many of y'all heard people say, I heard the voice of Jesus say? Yeah, mm. Now tell me what Jesus' voice sounds like. Mm. 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 If you don't know this voice, tell me what it sounds like. All right. All right. <laughs> We're going to die. We're going to die. Oh, <laughs> see, 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 you know my voice because you heard me and you saw me. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. So you can distinguish my voice from the bishop voice All right. Right. or the president voice. Yeah. Right. But how, what the Jesus voice sound like? Right. What does God voice sound like? All right. Come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, we say, we're talking to them. They talk back to us. I need to know what your voice sounds like, God. Huh. Now, you go to the book of Exodus, the 20th chapter. Watch him. Talk, talk, talk. Yeah. 20th chapter. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Teach, Doc. Listen, y'all heard those saying that you can lead a horse to water. Come on. Can't make him drink. Make him drink. That's right. You can tell folks the truth. But you can't change the way you think. That's come on, man. Right. Come on, come on. All right. All right. 20 chapter, verse number, let's go to 18. Start 18. Okay. And all the people saw the thunder and the lightning and the noise of the trumpet yeah. and the mountain smoking. And when the people saw it, they moved and stood afar off. Come on. Listen at this. And they said unto Moses, speak down with us. And we will heal. Mm -hmm. But let not God speak with us, lest we die. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, 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 you may be seen. Uh, in the book of uh, Malachi, I'm not talking about time. Uh, the third chapter, verse 6 says, For I am the Lord, I change not. Teach, man! I change not. Listen, I, I'm, 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 I'm going to have to rush. I, I can't, I can't, no, I can't take your time. Come on. Uh, uh, take your time. I told my wife, because I'm not comfortable, because it takes a little more than 15 minutes. Do what you do. Come on, do your so job, man. 15 minutes up, I want you to stand up. No, and stand yeah. come on, come on. <laughs> we got started okay. late. You come okay. on. Okay, okay. Turn it up, Turn it up. Turn it up. Let, let not God speak. Let let's we let's we let's we die. Come on. In the book of Luke 935. I'm gonna teach you go to Luke. I want you to uh -huh. see what I'm telling you. I'm not gonna tell you oh, yeah. uh, something that's not in the book. Uh -huh. That's what I like. Luke 935. 935. Then they went. And there came a voice out of heaven saying, This is my beloved son, hear ye him. Now this voice that came out of heaven was the voice of God. God said, This is my beloved son, see, hear ye him. This when they was on the Mount of Transfiguration. When Jesus was there with the disciples, Peter, I think Peter and James, or Peter and John, one of them. But they, he told them, said, uh, Peter said, Lord, it's just good to be here. Ah, yeah. Yeah. See, but, but, but Peter, when, when God spoke to Peter uh, uh, on the mountaintop, Peter knew it had to be the voice of God. Well, because God just spoke from heaven when he spoke to Jesus, when he spoke on the day when Jesus was baptized. Right, right. When Jesus was baptized, that's the only time the three entities was on this earth, voice, God voice. Jesus present and the Holy Spirit laid upon Jesus in the form of the dove. Yeah. They're all three here at the same time. Right. You can find no else but they're all three here. Now, Come on. now listen, yeah. listen at this. And, 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 and I, I, man, I, I wish I could do it. Man, come on, do your job. Come on now. Don't play with me. Come on here. Come on, teach tonight. Okay, in the book of Acts, the ninth chapter, verse 3. Well, I see you, Paul. Ninth chapter. I hear you. Verse number three. Now remember, God spoke from heaven. God spoke. Yeah. When it was on the Mount of Transfiguration. Line it up, dog. Okay. Line it up. Uh, and he joined it. As he joined, he came near Damascus, and suddenly there shone round about him a light from where heaven. And he fell to the earth and heard a voice what saying unto him. 
Saul, Saul, yeah. why persecuted thou me? Yes, sir. Now, go down to verse number 7. And the men who journeyed with him stood speechless, hearing a voice, ha! But, but seeing no man. Uh -huh. Come on, come on. Now, they heard a voice, but they they didn't hear the voice like, like Paul. Heard. No. Uh -huh. They heard a voice, but they didn't understand. Yeah. Come on, come on. They just heard a sound. Uh -huh. Paul heard Jesus say, Paul. <laughs> Paul. Hey, God say, Paul, Paul, why persecuted thou me? Uh -huh. Now listen. Come on now. Listen, listen, listen. Uh -huh. The thing, I'm in verse number mm -hmm. what, seven. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm in verse number eight. Oh. And Saul arose from the earth. And when his eyes were open, he saw no man, but they led him by the hand and brought him to the master. And he was there three days without sight, and neither did eat yeah. nor drink. Right. Now, I, 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 now, some of us wouldn't mind going without sight for three days. Well, <laughs> come on, come but on. Some, but some food for three days? Right. Come on now. It's just not gonna work with us. Yeah. Uh, my wife. Uh, and the world, if, if she goes through that right here, I'm taking her to the emergency room. Because I know there's something wrong. Listen now. Just, uh, and when his eyes were open, he saw no man, but uh y'all know the rest of the story. Right. But go down to verse 10 and, and there was a certain disciple at Damascus named Ananias. Ah, okay. And to him said the Lord in a vision, Ananias, and he said, Behold, I am here, Lord. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Now, who is talking here? Mm -hmm. Who is talking here? He said, Lord. You know how we always say, the Lord God? Uh -huh. So we call the Lord God. Now, let me show you something a little different about that verse. Now, if you come on back here to verse number five. Line it up, son. And he said, who, Paul said, who, who art thou, me Saul? Who art thou, Lord? Uh -huh. And the Lord said, I am Jesus. Come on. Yeah. Whom thou persecuted, it is hard to kick against the prick. Yeah. We say, call God, talking to God, when we're not even going to be talking to God. Right. Come on, come on. Tell the people the truth. Come on. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Jesus was talking to Paul. Uh -huh. Now, why, 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 why did Jesus say, 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 say what he said to Paul? Uh -huh. Whenever Jesus identified himself with his people, he always identifies himself so that they can know who he, who he is. Uh -huh. Okay, the, we, we, we just, Jesus, God spoke, Jesus just spoke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now go to 2 uh, Corinthians 3, 16. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Line up online, precept up on precept. 2 Corinthians 3. What's it, 3 and 16? Nevertheless, no. mm -hmm. when it shall turn to the Lord, the veil shall be taken away. Here he is. Uh -huh. 17 is what I want to get to. Mm -hmm. Now the Lord is the Spirit, mm -hmm. and what the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Now, listen at this. God, Jehovah God, is called Lord, uh -huh. the Father. Jesus, the Son, is called Lord. The Son, the Holy Spirit, is called Lord also. Oh, come on, come on. Why are they all called Lord? Because they have the same, the same authority. Come on. The authority that Jesus had, he got it from God. When God was in heaven, he was on earth. Come on. Now, if you go to uh, 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 John, the 12th chapter, verse uh, 16, chapter, verse 12 through 15, when Jesus left him, he gave the authority to the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. He said when he comes, yeah. he will lead you and teach you and guide you into all truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what he said? Yeah. So, so now, it's almost like 
when, when, when God have, 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 have told us who to talk to, and we don't talk to them, then we can't get what God's going to have for us. Well, uh, all of God's blessings are in Jesus. And when Jesus said that I, I give all of my authority to, to the Holy Spirit, so everything we yeah, get yeah, comes yeah. from the Holy Spirit. Yeah. But then the Bible says, grieve not the Holy Spirit. Okay. So like, listen, how do we grieve the Holy Spirit? Huh. Listen, you know, how that time when people said, be shouting and they tell you, get back. Don't grieve the Spirit. Don't grieve the Spirit. Yeah, that, that's not, when a person is shouting and you touch them, that's not grieving the Spirit. Come on. Okay, son. See. Grieving the Spirit, when, when, when a person has, has, has Jeremiah says it's like what? Fire, uh -huh. shut up in my bone. Right. Now when the Lord gives you something to do and you don't do it, you are quenching the spirit. Yeah. Right. When, 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 when God tells you to go to the Holy Spirit because when you don't know what to pray for, he take your prayer right. and take them to God. Yeah. Right. Come on, come on. Am I right, bro? Right. So we are missing something. Listen now, here's, here's the deal. If God has put the Holy Spirit here for us, for us, uh -huh. right. to go through Him, come on. Bishop is the pastor of this church. Come on, the bishop of this church. <laughs> Deep now, if the members come to you and begin to ask you what they need to do to make the church you move forward, uh -huh. and don't go ask Him, what the, what's wrong with that? Uh -huh. That's not all. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And this don't grieve him because you went, they went around him when he God have given him the authority in this church to do what needs to be done. But when you come go on, somebody come else. Right. Come on, come on. And that's what's wrong with most of the churches. They go around the pastor. Hey! They just do things their own. As like Peter said, it, it, it stir up the guilt in you. Don't quench the spirit. Right. By whom we are, Ephesians 4, 30 says, we are sealed until the day of redemption. Yeah. Right. So if I'm sealing you, I'm the one that's keeping you, and you're going to go around me after I have been given authority, you're going to breathe me. Hey! Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Now, 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 what now, 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 if this book, this is the Bible, this is the Word of God. Yeah. If this Bible is the bread of life, Okay. Come on. Now let me ask somebody. What, what, what's the most important meal of the day? They say breakfast. 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 So now, if I get up in the morning, I don't get my breakfast. Yeah. When I get up, yeah. I'm missing something, eh? Yeah. yeah. I'm missing something. Yeah. I'm not getting what I need when I get up. So yeah. I'm going all through the day. I need all I want, but it's gonna be unfulfilled. Yeah. Yeah. Because I didn't get my breakfast. Yeah. See, sometimes we God has breakfast for us, but we want to tell God what, how we want to eat. Yeah. God says, I can fix it for you. Now, all you got to do is eat. I know how you need to eat. Huh? Yeah. We need to ask God, when we get up, God, what do I need to read today so that I can glorify you and magnify you and exalt yeah, yeah. you and lift you up and give you all the gold? Yeah. But most yeah. times we just get up go. Yeah. On our way to work, we're on our way to work, we'll, 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 tell you, we'll, we'll pray. Lord, thank you for waking up this morning. How many of y'all on your way to work, get in the car, turn the radio off, and say, okay, God, I'm going to listen to you this morning. No, 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 no. Come on, come on. I don't want to hear the radio. Even, even though it's Christian music, I don't want to hear it. I'm going to listen to you. I want to hear the Holy Spirit speak to me. I want to hear the Holy Spirit lead me and guide me. See, in, in a lot of times, we're not led to God because we're going to listen to the Holy Spirit. Bye, my, my. Right, right, right. Who are you talking to? Hey! Who are you talking to? Are you talking to God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit? Mm -hmm. See, God has given us the Holy Spirit. But we don't, he, he, he's not even in church no more. Hey! Come on. We don't even talk about the Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah. We talk about everything but the Holy Spirit. Yeah. We talk about right. another person. Oh, baby, you can really sing. I love to hear her sing. Hear him sing. Well, what about the Holy Spirit? Yeah. Hey!
seventh thing is, yeah. it says, he that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying unto the church. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Inside the heart, a uh, heart, H A R T. H A R T is heart. Inside your heart, there's E A R. Come on. And inside the E A R is A R T. There is an art to hear it. Come on, hey! come on, come on. Come on, come on man. Yeah, man, that's my kind of stuff there. Come on, man. Well, you got to know how to do it. I, I, I don't know what I'm listen, about. listen, listen, listen. And I'm through, bitch. No, don't yeah, stop. Come you on. Stood up, man. So man, come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on with it. <laughs> come on with it. Yeah. Uh, listen. Uh, and I'm through. I'm telling this story. Uh, this story. Uh, about God, how God in intervenes in, 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 in our lives and in a lot in the way that we don't even I've understand. Gone with us. Uh, Come on. We don't understand. Listen, there was a man that was at a, at a meeting uh -huh. uh, back in the 80s, 1980s, in his preaching, and he had a book that he wanted to uh, get published, but he didn't have the money. It was $3,000. Mm -hmm. So he asked the Holy Spirit, how am I going to get the money what I need to do? So at the meeting that night, the lady handed this man an envelope. And she said, the spirit told me to give this to you. Oh, come on. Come on. Mm -hmm. And he sat there and uh, he said, can't be no money because he got his lump. <laughs> the envelope is not flat. He said, when he got outside, Come on. he looked at the envelope, well. expecting for it to be money. Right. Right. We would all expect, oh, she gave $3,000. Uh -huh. He said, but when he opened the envelope, he found a ring in there. Come on. And it said, when he found a ring, he went to the, to the, uh, had a praise, yeah. and it was worth $3,000. Uh -huh. uh -huh. See, God don't always bless you the way you think you ought to be blessed. Yeah. Yeah.